So my name is Sharon Cooley. I'm a consultant maternal and fetal medicine specialist in the Rotunda Hospital. And I'm also clinical lead for the early pregnancy assessment unit. Um, miscarriages unfortunately happen for one in four women who have a positive pregnancy test. A miscarriage is a pregnancy loss, in many instances less than 12 weeks gestation. A chemical miscarriage or a very early pregnancy loss refers to a pregnancy loss at less than six weeks gestation. Now for most women, we date our pregnancies from the first day of the last menstrual period, so the first day of your period. So by the time you miss your period, you're four weeks pregnant, and that chemical loss really refers to a loss in the two weeks thereafter. Missed miscarriage is where a pregnancy stops, but the symptoms and signs of pregnancy continue, and essentially it's your body's way of minding the pregnancy until it comes to a point where it comes to terms with the loss, and then the miscarriage starts to happen. For some women, this may happen at home, where they have pain or bleeding, and then present to their healthcare provider, and for others, unfortunately, it can also happen where they attend for a routine visit at the hospital. If you have pain or bleeding in early pregnancy, we would recommend that you link with your general practitioner or healthcare provider if the pain or bleeding is mild. However, if you have heavy bleeding or severe pain, we would recommend that you attend your nearest emergency room or nearest maternity hospital for examination and review. Thankfully, not every woman who bleeds in the first 12, reg 12 weeks of pregnancy will miscarry. Um, and in fact, there's a lot of work out there suggesting that one in three of us who are pregnant will actually bleed over the course of the pregnancy, but most of us will go home with a baby. Heavy bleeding is, is bleeding that is very individual, but it's bleeding that you find difficult to cope with, um, or pain that you find difficult to manage. Um, so if, if you're not comfortable with it, then we would have no difficulty seeing you in our emergency room. Sometimes the diagnosis of miscarriage is clear-cut and sometimes it's not. In early pregnancy, the diagnosis of miscarriage can sometimes be difficult because while we have the value of history and examination, our other investigative tools such as scan and blood tests sometimes need time for the pregnancy to declare itself because we need to be able to see where the pregnancy sac is and the sac grows at such a slow rate that can sometimes mean that you don't get the diagnosis straight away but rather that you have appointments for review in our early pregnancy assessment unit and appointments for repeat scans and blood tests. This is hard for most women because most of us need to be able to plan our lives. We need to know, can I go to work today? Do I need help with the children that you have at home? Um, and sometimes this is the most difficult part of it is asking for time. And occasionally that time can involve days or weeks. When people talk about blood work in early pregnancy loss, what they're talking about is the pregnancy hormone, human chorionic gonadotrophin. And this is a hormone that doubles every 48 hours in early pregnancy. The other blood work that we would talk about would be blood group and full blood count. The reason we look at our pregnancy hormone levels in pregnancy is more so in cases where we have a concern that the pregnancy may not be within the womb itself, but actually in, the, in a tube or outside to the womb, and we're trying to find as much information in relation to this possible pregnancy location in order to try and pick up our women with ectopic pregnancy because this has significant risk for the woman, particularly outside the hospital setting. The ultrasound um, is a useful investigative tool, typically more so after six weeks in pregnancy because at that time point you'd be able to see hopefully a, a pregnancy sac or what we call a gestational sac and a baby, which you will see referred to on scan reports as a fetal pole. Um, and again, it, it's this time lag between getting pregnant and having scan features um, that sometimes is difficult for women and is sometimes what dictates the value of ultrasound for us. The ultrasound will also tell us not only where the baby is, but how many babies they are, there are, um, and also it was different information in relation to the womb itself um, and most importantly, information in relation to is this pregnancy viable and are you going to get a baby out of this pregnancy?